What's good, YouTube? We're back with some more Free Your End. We're on episode 15. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get into it. I like the music. Farron's pretty tired, isn't she? Wow, that much time's gone by since they met up with Stark. I guess they did spend about six months uh, living in that shack during the winter. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for a damn mimic to show up. <laughs> oh god oh god uh I, you know i grew up with uh fucking like inuyasha and stuff so this guy gives me straight uh moroku vibes i was uh <laughs> But uh, he wants a sexy older lady. Well, I mean, Free Ren is definitely older, but she he she is much smaller than uh, he would prefer. I'm sure. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Everyone's knocked out. Must be some kind of a spell. <laughs> Free Ren wants to just not get involved with so, so much, but fair enough. Baron doesn't want to leave this like this. I wonder how long all these people have been asleep. <laughs> They're all feeling the effects of this curse, <laughs> and it's starting to freak Stark out a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Rather than trying to release everybody from the curse individually, you might as well go after the the one who set the curse and just destroy destroy the cause. I wonder if maybe Stark is a uh, potentially faking it or Nah, he, he must not be faking it. Up, oh, Farron's falling for it now. A protection spell? That's probably a good idea. Yeah, it'd probably be good to conceal him too, but I mean, that's asking a lot. Oh, Farron, or uh, Free Ren's about to go to sleep. That's not good. <laughs> well, now we get to see what this guy's capable of. A lot can happen in five seconds. <laughs> that's all you need, dude. It kind of figures that it would be a plant that's causing the curse. It's like a lot like a Pokemon almost. Oh, so maybe the fact that it kind of got a reflective image means it's automatically got a reflective barrier over its skin. Well, 
I guess plants don't necessarily have skins, but... Uh, I kind of feel like this guy is over... is overthinking this a little bit. She said she would defeat it, so why not just let her... Let her do it do her thing. Yeah, this uh flashback definitely uh definitely ties in well to the current situation. Trust what she said because she said she would defeat it. So just wake her up. Five seconds is all you need, bud. Oh, damn. <laughs> right down the throat of the plant. <laughs> I love her kind of blank expression that goes into, <laughs> into how she reacted to that. I got it. <laughs> More head pats for you. Good boy. <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, finally got to meet a nice older woman. Too bad she's not traveling with you. Who's this guy missing an eye? Uh, I have the same question as him. What's going on? Come to the mansion. You have a nice body. This is odd. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, you... <laughs> I mean, it's so disrespectful, but I mean, nobles uh, tend to be that way. Ew, they got broke fast, didn't they? Holy crap, that guy does look like Stark a little bit. Yeah, no kidding. Practically identical, except his hair slicked back. Oh, did that guy die? Yep. <laughs> Throwing a grimoire. <laughs> the food, food and snacks <laughs> was enough. Just get, just want to make sure you get a book too. Oh, this is gonna be arduous, dude. <laughs> Stark has to go some through some serious learning here. <laughs> Noble etiquette has to be brutal. I can't imagine how, how uh how hard it must be to learn even probably for modern day nobles in various countries like the uk for example well at the very least uh, a little a new technique uh, in swordsmanship probably wouldn't hurt in the long run either well, at least he has a much better opinion of his second son than Stark's father had. Because his Stark's uh, family really didn't have a very strong opinion of him, except for his brother.
それともママが連れて行ってくれるのか頑張ってね<笑><laughs> You're being forced into this position there, Farron. She's probably better suited for the role anyway. Free Ren's definitely not very well suited to play the lady gimmick. I'm sure it has been hell. Make eye contact. Eye contact there, Farron. You're supposed to be playing a role here. Oh, there's a little bit of eye contact. They weren't looking face to face, but it was at least she was at least looking at him there. Now they're get now they got it going. Having a good time. This is very well choreographed, and I can't really tell if they're using like a like a CGI model or something to help make it look so smooth, but this is very well done. <laughs> no dance, prioritize cake. Woo! Ten gold in a grimoire. Uh, the Stark doesn't look very content, though. Let's see what he what his gripe is. Hmm. So this was kind of all uh trying to get Stark to kind of take his place for an extended period of time, but that's not gonna work. Which grimoire should you choose? Which one? Which one? Find a good spell. Very true. He seems to... After that talk he just had with uh, Stark, he seems to be putting a little bit more effort into his uh, second son. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.